What's up guys, on this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the settings for RMS, for DPL specifically, and how to connect it to your portal. The reason why you want, may want to do this is because you have access to the ATM. You can change the welcome message, the receipt info. You can change so many things, the bill count. You can use the restart kit, which is another accessory. You can turn off the machine and turn it back on. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the settings and a walkthrough and how to do it. So let's get to it. So when you log into your portal on your Hercules DPL, or your DPL portal, you can go to your terminal on where you're going to do RMS and you're going to go click the middle tab, RMS. And you see right here is disabled. Right here, you're going to enter the master password and you're going to log into the back office. You can go to ATM op. You can go to host setup on the right hand side. And from here, you're going to press remote monitor. So these are the settings that the ATM actually already has um, when you purchase it. And you're gonna to have to change some settings in order to connect it to your actual RMS. So you're going to press Gen Mega right here on your phone. Since this is a G2500, you're going to enable. You can go to RMS Sent on the right hand corner. You can press Enabled, you're going to cancel to return for RMS host IP address. You're going to change the IP address to 192.168.0.53. And you can always pause this video just in case you can't do it that quickly. You can always pause it and just make sure you have everything correctly. For the last one, we're going to change this RMS schedule. And you're going to go on the top left hand corner. You're going to enable, it, enable that. And then once you do that, you're going to cancel. And if you're looking at the actual, my phone screen, you're going to change the password to 388009. And this password is specifically for this terminal for the in order to connect RMS. So once that password is changed, you can press enter for a test call. Once you have these settings, you can always take a picture of it, save it on your favorites on your phone, just to make sure you have it correctly. And you're going to press enter in order for it to connect to your actual portal. It's going to verify the password and it's going to make sure everything is, all the settings are correct. Once it says test success, you're going to cancel out. So you're going to press cancel all the way out for the ATM to connect and initialize. And on my phone, you can see that RMS in, is enabled. So with RMS enabled, there's so many features. I'm not going to go through all of them. Just from the, the my phone, you can see that you can change the receipt info, change the welcome screen. You can have access to the journal. Um, these are one. These are a few of many features that RMS enables. But that's how you connect your ATM to your DPL portal uh, for a G2500. Mm -hmm. 